Yo, based on tier. So Charizard, seven star raid is out. And I've been playing mo mostly multiplayer. I don't solo. Solo is easier, by the way, than multiplayer. And but if everyone's coordinated, it's it's a lot of fun. So in this video, we just talk about like some of the Pokemon builds that you can use for multiplayer to play with friends to carry people. Actually, right? We actually have people on stream where we just they're like level twenty, level thirties, and we just carry them. Right? Not not too bad. And we so the way it started, like we did it first try, and then we beat it. But that was like with a full squad kind of thing. And I will have to say the best mon is Grim Snarl, yo, Grim Snarl. Uh, but let's go over Charizard's move first, real quick. So Charizard level one hundred solar power. Um, when you catch it, it has perfect IVs and is modest nature, so it's pretty much competitive early. And the he has move for this. For this actually is okay, here's here's the move what he kind of has, right? But the move that he uses in the battle is that he has Dragon Pulse, Fire Blast, Hurricane Focus Blast. So these four are technically there. Terra Blast, Sunny Day, Overheat, and that missing anything? I think that's all. Yeah, so that's pretty much those and that. So since it's a dragon type, it Terra Blast is the pretty much Dragon Post. So I don't know why it's there, but <laughs> but Grimnar is like the beast in here because then the light screen with Spirit Break combo is all you need, and it just makes Charizard hit like a noodle. That that's that's pretty much it. Um, he's good for support. So the way I want to go over this is that Grimnar is like the full support. Azumarill is the DPS physical DPS. Fluttermane is the special DPS. And then Dustbun is like the support tank. It's like a tank, but more support. It's like it's like in the middle. It could DPS too, right? So, so with with Dustbun, I've been just using. You want to use well big body, right? And then play rough. How how is good because how actually buffs your self attack and everyone else's attack. So if we just go over here, but every all the allies. And then helping hand and play rough is pretty much all you need. I don't know if whatever you want to use for the fourth one. I don't use Dust Bun as well as much. Like I use Grimmsnarl a lot. I use Azumarill. So pretty much a lot of the plays you can just bring Grimmsnarl or Azumarill. I'm pretty sure a lot of people over the internet nowadays, right? Uh, before Charger came out, we was like, yo, get Azumarill, Azumarill. Azumarill is good. All you need is Belly Drum and play rough. And that's pretty much it. A huge power. And that's all, that's all you need. Uh, Shell Bell. And I guess I you can use Helping Hand too. Helping Hand would be good instead of Protect. I have Protect here. I didn't bother changing it. It works just fine. And uh, you can also use Bright Powder for all these items just because of Charizard's attacks. Like all of them are low ac kind of low accuracy-ish. They're not the best accuracy. They're not 100%, right? Uh, so for Grim Snarl, all you need is Light Screen and Spirit Break, right? Spirit Break, it actually 100% lowers the special attack. So then Charizard end up hitting like a noodle. And then light screen is obviously OP, right? So um, you want Prankster, because then otherwise it's let's just say you get overheated first turn. And then next hit, you, you're gonna die if you don't light screen. So you gotta have prankster, so light screen will come before you get hit. So you live that extra hit. Right? Um, so that's pretty much the build there. All three of these are all HP, 252 HP, 252 attack, and then like special defense for extra extra four. And then we have Fluttermane here. Fluttermane, I think you can use to solo too. But you can also use it for multiplayer. All you need is Moonblast, Draining Kiss, Big Tears. Uh, you can call mine, it's optional. But it's nice, right? Just bring that. Draining Kiss is to heal. Moonblast is for the DPS. And Big Tears to lower their defenses. And it's call mine to boost yourself. Um, you can use Booster Energy or uh, COVID Cloak or Leftover or Bright Powder. For these, I would use I like bright powder just because it makes it miss more. But you can use leftovers and uh, shell bell here. So up to you. Grim's not. I wouldn't use shell bell. These two, they don't do that much damage compared to Azumarill. But yeah, Azumarill would be TBS and Grim Snarl. So the way that the pattern works. Um. Oh yeah. Let me mention some honorables. Like you can actually use this one. This is happening in the raid right now. Mimikyu and Forgies, right? Uh, Forgies straight up berry. You can use the set of light screen and stuff like that too instead. 
so that's optional they're doing it as in also with this raid like the four star five stars they're forgies and mimikyu so you can use those too but um these i would say would be the best one you want to go for because these also you can use in other raids by the way so i suggest you uh at least get grimstar and azumaro that's pretty good i don't use these too much but this is filler, filler main is pretty good too Dust Bun is their support, like again, but the, I don't think it has the damage compared to Azumarill or Flutter Main. But it's good, because then it just resistant to fire. <laughs> Overheat hits you. And we're going to go over the patterns, right? So we're going to watch some videos, go over the patterns here. But yeah, check out the full clear video. I mean, not the full clear, the first clear video on my YouTube channel. I just posted that. I'll probably post more runs if anyone wants to see them. But here, um, we're pretty much carrying someone here, right? Um, they're, they just started the game to level 30. I started off with light screen. Uh, in the beginning of the turn, it hit someone. It hit it hit Nico with the overheat, right? So rip, <laughs> and then it cleanses itself first turn. That's all it does. So yeah. So if I end up getting overheated, then that's a trouble, right? But yeah. So after you light screen, you just spirit break all day, right? And then eventually you do he cast shields, and then that will clear up the paralysis and the cleanse. So that's why. You don't want to paralysis him because it's gonna cleanse it. Like, the... you don't even need to taunt either because the sunny day comes out later. All right, so I pretty much just have him just heal, just cheer for like dying or something. Uh, so I just spirit break and then eventually he just end up hitting me like a noodle, right? Even with this fire blast, did barely did anything. Hold on, let me see if we can. Here, that fire blast right there, boom, pretty dainty damage. <laughs> and then everyone can just have, have fun, right? And just go, go ham on it. And then eventually it does a sunny day, like part way. And then even with the sunny day, it's still not going to hurt. Let's see if I can find it here. Right, yeah, with the sunny day, barely did any damage right there. Like, it's like, you can heal that easily. I didn't even care about burn because then all you want to care about is lowering the special attack. And that's pretty much easy clear right there. E even the Zoomero here is not actually that buff. Right? I don't think it was like EV train or even level 100 because it died pretty quick. <laughs> At least compared to this one, right? Franklin doing a lot. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Go over some runs here. Alright, so this is the start. You can use Duke. I would suggest two Grim Snarl just to be safe. It's nice. One with Light Screen, the other one with the Spirit Break. And all you need is just technically one Grim Snarl and then one Azumarill. And then you're pretty much good. And then Wicked, Wicked also just started the game, so we're just carrying, right? The Overheat. So I just Light Screen first turn. And then he Spirit Break. The Fire Blast. Did that much. <laughs> just keep spirit breaking until oblivion, right? And then become easy carry. It does when he breaks shield, it does cast Inferno. Um from time to time. It doesn't even do much at this point. So that's why I think Grimstar is the best. You can bring whatever you want with it, Grimstar. <laughs> uh do I have any other runs in here that I recorded? Yeah, so sunny day. The fire starter is actually pretty tanky, so if you want to consider that, you can use that and bring Snarl. That's what that's what Party was doing, just snarling the heck out of it, <laughs> helping with the with the debuff. There's a weird bug where you just frozen though. Let's see. I think at this point, yeah. So this was pretty good. This is a solid team, just running two Grim Snarls and two Zoom rolls to make sure, because uh, you can do overheat. Hit a Grim Snarl and that did that much damage, right? So that that would kill you if anything, if you don't light screen. <laughs> See if after the light screen, lived. Just like that. And then they can belly drum to their content. So what I would do is Grim Snarl would light screen and then then after everyone threw their thing. Like belly drum or whatever, spirit break, and then you pretty much can get the win easy. We've been just carrying people, so if you guys need carries, you're having issues, uh, come by my stream and um, we'll try our best to help you. Yeah? 
hopefully this helped your video uh helped you out uh make your own pokemon you want to bring level 100 ev train hyper train if you can uh but there are points where you just started or maybe you just don't have the money so understandable later days